The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how Factory Studio has been enhanced with additional features in the alarming system to fit your needs. We'd like to briefly run through those changes with you in this video. If we go to Edit Alarms, you'll see there's a new tab called Areas. In the Areas tab, you'll be able to define logical areas with which to associate alarms, as well as define child areas. Also, in Edit Alarms Items, you'll find a new column called Aux Value for Auxiliary Value. It has been added to Alarm Item Definition, so another tag value besides the tag creating the alarm can be shown in the alarm message. Within the alarm namespace, there are now new attributes designed for interacting with these new logical areas. For example, if I go to Alarms dot areas dot you'll see that there are five areas that have been defined in this project with each of these areas there are several attributes allowing you to interact with the alarm areas as you wish categories descriptions IDs names total count is a total number of alarms of that area including child areas an act count is the total number of unacknowledged alarms of that current area, including child area. Total count local excludes the child areas. Unac count local is without the children areas. Plus, you'll see that there are ways to acknowledge all for the entire area, or just for the entire area without the child area. Disable disables the alarms in the current and child areas. These properties also have a local version, which is for counters and commands only for the selected area and do not include the child areas. Switching to the running demo that we also provided a link for you, in order to select an area when running the application, there is a graphical component, alarm area, which provides a tree view in runtime to show and select alarm areas. That is this object right here. And you'll see that in here we have the areas and child areas as defined in the project. As alarms occur, you'll see them show up in the alarm viewer. We see there's a the total count for area one alarms is two, unacknowledged is two. If I acknowledge any of those, you see we still have two active alarms, but only one is unacknowledged. Same for area two. We can acknowledge all area one and all area two. Let me reset these. If I disable an alarm area, you'll see that there's no interaction for that alarm. It just doesn't, for that alarm area, it just doesn't show up anywhere. However, the alarms for the other areas are still being processed as normal. Finally, using the alarm area graphical object, you can select areas to show and have access to that information as a .NET object. So now here I'm going to go ahead and create alarms. These are, oops, these are still disabled. Let me go ahead and enable those. And you'll see here if I just want to look at a specific sub area. Select that get the filter and now in my viewer I'm only looking at sub area 1 underscore 2. I could look at sub area 1 underscore 1 by selecting that area or all of the alarms in area 1. Same holds true for area 2. We look forward to working with you soon. For more information please visit us at www.tatsoft.com and look for other Tatsoft videos online.